Yo guys, what's going on? It's Aces here today with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to max out your crafting skill here in PvE Tarkov. Do me a favor, make sure you're dropping a like on this one here today, and of course, make sure you're subscribed to the channel for more PvE content. Let's hop right into this one here today. Crafting skill is one that you definitely want to start working on. It provides some really great benefits for you over the course of time. Those benefits being reducing the actual time it takes to craft items, and it's going to reduce all the cyclic production times. So like your water filter stuff, like getting the purify water, stuff like that as well. And the elite level for crafting is you can actually craft two different items at once. And that's probably going to be best taken advantage of in something like your workbench, for example, where you can make two different ammos that take quite a long time to make. Uh, there's a couple other modules where that could definitely help, whether you're making a mag case and a grenade case or something along the lines of that in the lavatory. Or if you just need some task items, maybe you get a ragman task where you need some ripstop and you need some cordura. You can pump both of those out at the same exact time to complete that daily. Whatever the case may be, having the elite level can definitely help you out and save you some time. So one thing you need to know about crafting if you didn't know it already. If you craft the same exact item over and over and over again, sugar is probably going to be the main cause of that. You will not get any skill points. The first time you craft it, you will get a skill point. But after that, if you continue to craft the sugar over and over and over, you will not get any skill points for crafting the same exact thing repeatedly. You just won't get any. And that's probably one of the worst parts about leveling up the crafting skill because you have to alternate in between items but you start to get used to it and i'm going to show you both the items that i switch through on each of the different modules here in the hideout as for how many skill points you're going to be getting it's actually there's two ways there's one point given every eight hours of crafting that is done it's just a little tiny bonus it's nothing major and then it's going to be one point per craft every single time you alternate a craft so it's not a ton uh, i don't know if this is affected by the library or not i'm sure we could figure that out here in just a moment once we collect and start up some new crafts so we are going to start with the nutrition unit because i feel like that's the one that's probably used the least amount because everybody just constantly crafts sugar to be honest with you so that was my last craft making some sugar so what i tend to make is the kvass now if you wanted to you could make the max energies if you need to still level up your immunity that's definitely something you could do uh it does take an hour and 41 minutes i craft the kvass because it's significantly shorter it's around an hour i'm sure this is reduced a little bit uh because of my current skill but it's around an hour so we are going to go ahead and start this one up before i do let me check my exact number on the skill points so we're at 29.62 with no gain yet since logging on so we're going to go ahead and start that one one up and we are good to go there so just so you know you don't get the skill points until the item is collected so here at the med station we're going to grab these meds right here and we're going to check our skill and you can see that has gone up by 1.35 so it does seem like the library does give you a little bit of a bonus there at least that's just how it seems uh, from the outside looking in because I do believe it is one skill point per craft so you definitely have to do a lot of crafting but here for the med station the crafts that I do are the pile of meds and the AI2 mainly because you need the meds to make the AI2 and you need the AI2s to make the meds you can get the augment off the flea market um, we'll talk about the bandages here in a little bit but the augment, you can get it off the flea market. Or if you're farming labs, you'll find a ton of it. So this is pretty much a free craft every single time you do it. So we are going to start up the AI2s right now. So let's just hop right over to the lavatory because you can use those bandages. Um, I've already talked about the gas mask and leveling up your hideout management skill. Um, you can use it for your crafting skill as well, but you kind of have to be in your modules constantly, and it's not really uh, something you want to do. So uh, here, we are going to be getting a sewing kit, which is going to come back to you. It's an auxiliary tool, and then you're going to be grabbing yourself uh, some UX Pro beanies, which you can buy four of these per restock from Ragman. I don't know which loyalty level, so uh, you will have to check that out. But we're going to be making a fleece. And every single time you make a fleece, you can then use that fleece to make bandages. So all you have to do is buy the beanies and you get two crafts right here. So starting that up, boom. 
once this is done in 30 minutes, I will have all the bandages. You get six of them. I'll have plenty of bandages for this craft. And then the excess you can just sell on the flea market for one ruble under the trader price. And they will sell pretty much instantly. So all you need over here is going to be your augmenting. As for the intelligence center, I don't even think these crafts really count. Maybe the time does. Maybe you get a couple skill points for doing a super long craft. Like maybe you make a GPU or something. I'm actually not fully sure. It's not something that I've really even taken the time to do because to be honest with you, most of these crafts just are simply not worth your time. I guess if, you know, you're making one of these maps and you just need a couple of flash drives and if you are actually getting the skill points from crafting for 11 hours, so that might actually not be bad. This might be something I have to test here. Uh, I'll leave this part of the video in, but the Intelligence Center is one thing that I have not really messed with when it comes to the crafting. So moving on to the final module of the day, and that is going to be the workbench. There's a super easy set of two in here, and I'm also going to give you another two options if you want a little less work. So the first set I do is the visor for the plexiglass, and then the second one is going to be the pliers for the round pliers, and you have an auxiliary tool here of the uh, master set of tools. So we just did this one right here. You can buy three of these. Every single restock for 5k, super cheap. And then uh, you can just go ahead and sell the plexiglass quick sell. Uh, it basically is, uh, is a break even on that, just quick selling it to therapist. And then the pliers are fairly cheap on the flea market, 10k. So, you know, e each craft, you know, you're averaging out per two crafts, 15k. It's not bad at all. If you wanted to make it a little easier on yourself, you could do the kite gunpowders. Just stock up on these when they're a little bit cheaper. These are very expensive right now. Um, you know, if they fall back down to like 20k range, you can just buy like 10, 20 of them and just alternate the ammos. That way you don't have to worry about getting separate items. And it just takes a little bit of work out of the equation if you're ultra lazy. But uh, it does take a lot longer. So if you are not hopping in the hideout very often to do your crafting, this might be a more advantageous one for you. So you don't have to kind of micromanage this constantly. But as for the pliers, it's about 14 minutes. As for the plexiglass, it's around 24 minutes. So uh, these ones are very, very quick. Every single time you're out of a raid, one of these should probably be finished. And you can just start another one up, hop in another raid, and just kind of make it a habit. Every single time you're getting out of a raid, hop in the hideout, change out your crafts. Um, the workbench will be the main one along with the lavatory. And then the med bench it is pretty quick as well. The nutrition unit will take you a little bit longer. Those ones are near an hour. But um, almost every single time you're hopping out of a raid, you're going to have one module that has something done. So you will be getting you know a decent amount of skill points every single day while you're playing Tarkov normally if you're keeping up with it. If you're not micromanaging it, then it's going to be a little bit tougher on you uh, and it's going to take you a little bit longer to go ahead and max everything out. So obviously make sure you have all your modules leveled up as much as possible. But as for leveling up your crafting, this is honestly the best way to do it. Like I said, maybe I'll do a little bit of research here on the Intel Center and see if maybe making the uh, map here for 11 hours might be advantageous for you to get some crafting skill. Uh, it looks pretty cheap. Like, you just need one map of everything. That looks a lot cheaper than a lot of these other ones. So, I'll definitely look into it for you guys. But, for now, I need you to do me a favor. Drop a like on it. Make sure you're subscribing. I'll see you in the next video. I'm out.